time for a brand new FYI Holidays and Observances. And what holiday am I going to be talking about today? One that is very important. It is National Hairstylist Appreciation Day. See how important that is? Annually, on April 25th, we celebrate National Hairstylist Appreciation Day, as they are often overlooked for all the jobs they actually do. Do hairstylists just cut hair? Of course not! They are excellent listeners, whether you're describing a celebrity haircut you want to copy, or talking about your fam our families, our spouses, friends, or kids. They act as our stand-in therapist and confidant. They are artists, perfectionists, color chemists, angle men mathematicians, supportive therapists, and more, and have influence on them how we feel about ourselves, and how we view others. Though no one knows when the first hairstylist took scissors to someone's head, we know that scissors go back at least 2,000 years. Haircutting has been common since the Middle Ages. Throughout history, hairstyles have been symbols of social class, racial identification, marital status, religious beliefs, and gender norms. For example, in the middle 18th century, poof, Style developed for both men and women, emphasized volume, curls, utilizing everything from wigs, wire, cloth, and animal hair to develop the effect. Just look at Marie Antoinette. During the First World War, women around the world started to cut their hair shorter so it was easier to manage. Still utilizing volume and curls, during the 1950s, men's hairstyles were mostly short with some volume and hair gels. Styling. James Dean's effortlessly cool, slicked back, longer hairstyle, being one of the most influential symbols of social anarchy and and use of rebellion at the time. The hairstylists who can cut hairstyles through the ages, change our look, alter how we feel about ourselves overall, in one appointment, deserves to be celebrated. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, let me know you like it. If you're brand new to this channel and you love what you see, subscribe to my channel. Become part of my YouTube family. And when you do, leave a message in the comment section below. And if you have a channel, I will shout you out. And of course, if you wish to, you may write me a letter. You can send it to Kenny Davenport at P.O. Box 198, Crossville, Tennessee, 38557. 